Common Lit is a resource that you can use uh, when working with reading or trying to teach reading. Uh, it allows you to assign reading passages. It also allows students to practice their comprehension. So it gives you questions along with those passages. Um, and it also gives you some vocabulary practice. It's really all encompassing when um, looking at specific texts or giving different types of texts. It allows you to have several resources at your fingertips. Um, and again, the topic is primarily reading, although there is some writing involved in the Common Lit program. Um, some objectives that you could have, uh, they could change, but here are a couple that I came up with that I might use of, as objectives for my kids. Uh, they can analyze common themes portrayed differently in various types of sources. Uh, they can also pick out texts that interest them and work on comprehension skills within um, their own interests. The goal essentially for using Common Lit would be to help students grow in reading comprehension skills. For Common Lit, you would essentially go to commonlit.org um, and then it, up here in the corner, it should be, I'm already logged in, but it should say sign up. Uh, you can sign up for free and you can sign up with Google. So it's really easy just to go through and fill out the prompts. Once you have gotten into Common Lit, Here's what it kind of looks like. Um, you can browse content so you can find different books that you're looking for, which is actually how I have decided I'm going to use it for my class next year um, after looking at this website. Um, you can go by different genres. Grade level is really important, especially if you're going to differentiate some instruction uh, because you can look up different texts for different kids. Uh, you can create your own classes and you can actually sync those from Google Classroom, and then you can add assignments or assign uh, text to um, students. A couple of features that I really liked about Common Lit um, were, like I said, you can browse by certain things. I found text sets to be really cool. That you could actually go in and find something that um, was on a specific topic. Um, you could also do that for books. So if I was going to go here, Maybe I want to do the Watsons go to Birmingham because that's such a great book. Um, then what it would give me is it would give me the like actual lessons and things to go along with it. It would give me certain resources that I am probably going to be using with my kids next year. Um, but what I mean by resources is you can find a book that you would want to read maybe as a class or that a kid really likes. And then with that book, you also have several other different types of sources that go along with it. Um, so you can look into, um, you can get some informational text, there's news uh, stories on it, there's poems, all sorts of stuff that would be on the topic that, or topic or topics that that book is talking about. Another thing I really liked about this program is the student performance option. Um, so with each of those text sets or with each of the um, articles or sources that are on here, there are other things that you can have them do, like comprehension questions, and then it will track all of their performance here. So you can go in and you can check on your students and how they're doing. Standards that this um, program, Common Lit, uh, go with would be that it um, helps you plan and collaborate, and then it also... Um, allows students to choose the appropriate platforms and tools for meeting the desired objectives um, of their creating or communication. In conclusion, I thought that Common Lit was a really cool new resource. Um, so cool, in fact, that I am going to be using it with my kids this next year. I hope you guys can too.